In this video, I'm going to show you the wrong way versus the right way to learn the notes on the fretboard. An extremely common wrong way that I see is people trying to memorize the fretboard by doing this. They come to the E string, then find all of the natural notes. So E, F, G, A, B, C, D. Then they fill in the gaps with all the sharp notes. So F sharp, G sharp, A sharp, C sharp, and D sharp. Then everything past the 12th fret is just an octave higher than the note 12 frets below it. For example, if we're on the 15th fret here, we have G. Subtract 12 from 15 and we get three. And what note is on the third fret? G again. This method is okay. If you knew absolutely nothing beforehand, then I would say this is a good place to start. But everyone watching this video is probably further along than that. So relative to your skill level, going through the rest of the strings and repeating this process is actually the wrong way to go about doing things. Why? Because when you use this method, you're not memorizing where the notes are. You're memorizing the order. Sure, you can find a C sharp, but you have to go all the way down to F and count your way up to C sharp. This approach is not useful in a real world setting where you're improvising a solo because there's no way you're gonna have time to count up to the note you're trying to find. Therefore, we need a superior method to help you memorize the fretboard. We need a method that will allow you to find any note on any string instantly. Because when you're improvising and the music is passing you by, you need to be fast. And that's why I'm gonna show you a better method to memorize the notes on the fretboard without having to take a minute to think about it. Step one, go to this website. Step two, pick any string. Step three, set a stopwatch. And step four, while the stopwatch is going, use the random scale machine to generate random notes. What you're gonna do is take the notes that the random scale machine is generating for you and find them in both places on that string. If you don't have 24 frets, you won't be able to play every note twice. Now, I could show you this exercise. But instead, I'm going to show you my students doing the exercise. G sharp, uh, B, uh, C sharp, uh, C, uh, F sharp, uh, B flat, um, E, G, uh, D, E flat. F sharp, A sharp, G sharp, D. F sharp, B flat, F, E flat, G sharp, E, C sharp, G, D, C, C flat, A. It's also worth mentioning that these students did not become that fast overnight. They were way less comfortable with the notes of the fretboard until they started doing lots of reps of this exercise. But why is knowing where the notes are on the fretboard important? It just allows you to do everything faster. Imagine you're trying to voice a chord differently. What if you didn't want to play G here because you were playing with another guitar player who was already playing G there? The notes that make up a G chord are G, B, and D. So to play a G chord, all you have to do is find those three notes somewhere else on the fretboard. And since you already know the notes of the fretboard extremely well, you can find those different chord voicings super quickly. You know that this is a G, 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 this is a G. And this is a G. Another reason knowing the notes of the fretboard is useful is because it will help you improvise better solos. Let's do a quick test to see how well you know the fretboard. I'll give you three seconds. Find me a B flat on the D string. Go! Time! Did you find it? Let me know in the comment section. The harsh reality is, if you couldn't find it, then you wouldn't have been able to target that note during an improvisation. Because when the music is actually playing, you have less time to think about these things. So if you really knew the notes of the fretboard, you could improvise more melodic solos because you could target notes better. Do you understand? If not, perhaps it's because you're a bitch. This really pisses me off. But I'm not even mad. I bet you slow down for green lights too. If you'd like more help with learning the notes of the fretboard, how to build chords or improvise better solos, consider enrolling in 52 Week Guitar Player. I created this program in 2019. When you enroll, you'll receive personalized feedback from a professional in video form. On top of that, if you'd like to speak to myself or another pro directly, you can do that in one of the five live streams we have every week. We only accept 100 new students at a time and are currently closed until mid-June. Sign up to the waiting list to secure your spot toward the front of the line. 52 Week Guitar Player is the best guitar program on the internet and I look forward to seeing you there. Sign up to the waiting list now! Now just leave!